The next round of the battle of private versus public beach is almost here. A group of residents taking matters into their own hands. News 13's Peyton Lo Cicero reports. We are gathering affidavits to support uh, customary use. One by one, signature by signature, volunteers all along South Walton have set up pop-up stations to help make it as easy as possible for residents to get affidavits notarized and collected. We're fighting for being able to use the beaches as we have for thousands of years. as It's under attack by certain private owners and their lobbyists and attorneys are trying to take that away. There are only a few days left to get affidavits signed and notarized. Each affidavit turned in will help Walton County's case in court to reestablish customary use. Hopefully by signing the affidavit it'll get the word out that this is what everyone wants to do and we can get the message out that it needs to be preserved for everyone. It's surprising to know how many people are unaware of what's going on. So we're, we're trying to educate them, inform them so they can see the, the importance of what we're doing. Their goal is to get about 10,000 affidavits signed and notarized by September 8th. So far, they're about halfway there. Walton County's next step is to have a public hearing and start building their case for court. But they need the public's help, residents or visitors. I mean, the beach should be the whole beach, and it should be enjoyed by the whole public, not just certain areas of the beach. The public hearing will be this Saturday at the South Walton High School Auditorium. The meeting will begin at 9 a.m. In South Walton, I'm Peyton Lo Cicero, News 13.